we're talking a little bit with Dale Tut, Vice President of Industry Strategy, Siemens Digital Industry Software. How is digital transforming the aerospace and defense industry? And what are the main challenges of this transition? Yeah, it's, it, it is a very good example of what we're seeing in, in aerospace and defense right now is, is what with the, many of the new programs, they're going so much faster now. They're under so much pressure to deliver their new programs faster on, on, on cost. They're managing their, you know, their sustainability output. So really what we're seeing is they're just under a lot of pressure. And they also have challenges which is hiring enough workers to, to do these roles. And they need people that are specialized skill sets like systems engineering, software engineering. And so what we're seeing with digital transformation is that it's really enabling these companies to deliver their programs on schedule uh, with less risk. They are uh, designing their products faster. They're being able to do more virtual testing so that once they get into uh, the actual building the prototypes, we're reducing the number of prototypes in many cases, but they're able to they're able to go through their test programs much faster because they found problems in the virtual testing world before they got to uh, before they got into the physical testing. So we're seeing across the board that they're able to address their productivity gaps uh, and as well as helping them deliver their products on schedule and programs on schedule. And how this technology helping to reduce costs and accelerate the development of new products. Absolutely. Well, we, we, at the core of all the digital transformation is the comprehensive digital twin. And so a lot of times people think about digital twins in the context of uh, 3D geometry and simulation models. But in reality, it's, it is that, but it's also all of the information it takes to produce a part or a product. And so in aerospace and defense, you're building a new airplane. You, you have cost data, you have requirements that's driving all of your design and your testing efforts. And so it's really all of this information and how you manufacture it coming together that helps these companies understand how their product is going to operate, but then also how they're going to build it and maintain it once it gets out in the field. And so this is very critical because now it's them enabling them. You, because you have this understanding, you're now in a position to make faster decisions and better decisions. So it's time to make a change, and you're now able to assess the impact of that change much more clearly because you have this understanding with the digital twin. And so at the core of all digital transformation is a comprehensive digital twin and really being able to use that to make better, more effective decisions. What technological trends do you believe we have the greatest impact on this industry in the coming years? Yeah, well, I think it's easy to talk about AI. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of people talking about AI right now, but it truly is going to have a huge impact on how aerospace and defense companies start to develop their or continue to develop their new products. Uh, many companies are still, you know, they, they are struggling to hire uh, many, you know, they're struggling to hire people. And so they're filling the gaps with technology. They're filling the gaps, those, those, uh, those gaps with uh, AI. And so AI is going to enable those tools to work more effectively and empower those people to really be able to focus on solving some of those complex problems. So that's a big trend. AI certainly is going to help with the productivity of a lot of these people. And whether it's in the form of AI that's embedded in, uh, say, a simulation model, or if it's generative AI that's helping people analyze you know, large amounts of data, or even if it's agents, you know, okay, I have my, I have my buddy now that's going to help me uh, design the new part, uh, the new, new, new airplane. So I think that AI is an is a important area. I think another area that we really think is going to take off is this combination of the industrial metaverse with, uh, with immersive engineering. So now that you have the industrial metaverse, you're able to bring this all this information together in a way that makes it easier to visualize the product, the, the simulation models, um, and be able to bring it together in, we like to talk about in a single pane of glass. You're able to see data from all these different sources, the, the PLM, the uh, ERP, all these different systems, and you're now able to see this very holistically and be able to visualize. Again, it goes back to that decision making. Because you have that comprehensive digital twin, and you're now being able to see all of this information in a way that you've never been able to see it before, you're now able to, uh, to make those better decisions. And then I think just as a part of that is this immersive engineering. People are now going to be, engineers are going to be working, they're going to be designing the new airplanes in context. They, it's almost like they're working on the airplane, but they're actually designing the airplane. And then when you get out of the manufacturing environment, 
or, uh, in, or out into the field that you're now being able to use augmented reality and extended reality to, to be able to, to really provide that work instructions to the point of use for the worker, to be able to help them automate some of those processes and really record what's happened. And so I just think that immersive, this immersive environment is going to be very transformational and it's going to be built on the backbone of the industrial metaverse. Thank you so much, Dale.